Alright guys, uh, I'm going to start this new series, it's going to be like a free to play walkthrough kind of thing. Since I'm already beating the games when I'm doing my Steam free to play reviews. So I'm going to try to upload both and cut this into parts. So if people are interested in seeing the whole walkthrough, they can do that. And if they're just wondering if the game's good or not, they can do that as well. So I'm not just wasting a lot of content that I'm kind of deleting. This is by Moonlight, it's a visual novel loud visual novel my goodness oh <laughs> my ears uh, I don't think there's like an audio thing hmm, okay but yeah it's like a visual novel that's about all I know about it you're staring down at your phone to make sure that the uber with a three driver <laughs> doesn't try to kidnap you alright let's save let's <laughs> scared alright maybe it's just because of your profession. But you've always been the paranoid type. Did I start my recording? Yes, I did. Good job, me. Alright. Oh, God, he looks sketchy. It's a dark, stormy night. Don't hurt me, please. It's painfully obvious that it's raining because there's a leak in the roof in the car. Uh, Uber. Let me. Do I got my mouse capture on? I should probably turn that on so y'all can see the little ghosty, too. I'm gonna have to edit this crap a lot. <laughs> the struggle. Okay. Ah, did I break it? Oh no! Not like this. Okay. Wait a second. Good enough. <sighs> it occurs to you that you forgot an umbrella, but you don't have enough cash to spare a trip home and back again. Jesus, I'm poor. Not like this. Anything but this. The car screeches to a halt at what you presume to be your destination. Alright. Oh my god, my destination. <laughs> and I can't afford a trip back home, I got a mansion. It's an, oh, I'm a paranormal investigator. Crap. You've been to plenty of weird places, but this one screams haunted. 10 out of 10 would probably stay the night and fight ghosties. You've seen some lights on and assume hope that the client is home. The rain is pretty hard. Should you make a run for it or play it cool? Make a run for it. We can't. We can't pay him. <laughs> Starts our pain. The driver looks at you with what only you can only assume is contempt. Dot 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 dot. Good luck. Oh, did I pay him anyways? Man, the whole reason we run is so we don't pay him. As soon as the car door opens, you take off running. While you are aiming for a sprint, your legs aren't nearly as fast as you anticipated. This is going to be a multiple ending game, I think. You try not to let your physical weakness get your self-confidence down. Reading is hard. You look up. They use some pretty cool pictures. The door seems larger up close than it seemed in the from the SUV. You raise your hand to knock on the... Da -da -da. The question mark! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Got it. You see some trindles of smoke creep out from the door, but honestly, you don't know what... You don't want to know where it's coming from. That smoke. <laughs> you hesitantly raise your hand. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Someone shady. Slam shady. What do you want? Uh, I'm here to get rid of the ghosts, man. You stammer slightly. This dude, look. He got some stuff underneath his eyeballs. I'm the paranoid investigator you hired. You think to yourself that he gives off an intimidating aura. What could possibly scare him into calling you? He's got wolf ears, bro. You... <laughs> what? You're starting to consider if taking the job was a good idea. Set it down. Don't scare them off like that. It was hard enough getting anyone to come on such short notice. She got X's in her eyeballs. You think that you heard him whimper, and a thought briefly crosses your mind that he seems like a er puppy. Oh, he's an a er puppy. I'm sorry, I thought you were the mailman. No, I'm not the mailman. You laugh and stretch your arm to pet his head. I got a real job. I'm a paranormal investigator, I'll have you know. It's you. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. What a name. The woman who called Seba down is looking at you doubtfully. 
Uh, don't question my paranormal activity skills. Are you really a paranormal activity investigator? You don't look like one. You don't see this hair clip? That's a hair clip of paranormal activity destroying mastery. You snap back to reality. Uh, of course I am. You hurriedly rummage through your backpack for your license. I got a license. She's got a ghosty hat. You proudly show her your ID. Quick save. After all, you are renowned. Quick save. <laughs> what was your name again? Uh, the default name is Aiden. Oh, too easy. Oh, she's Panda, is it? It is. Bye, oh, she's got a voice. It's super quiet, though. I wish I could do the audio. She said, my bad. Oh, thanks goodness. I was worried that we brought in the wrong person. Haha. -ha. You glance down at your soggy clothes and try to hide your embarrassment. She gives you a warm and reassuring smile. Many apologies for the misunderstanding, Fluffy Panda. My name is Joan. Her eyebrows are on top of her hair. <laughs> you give her a slight nod. Of this, <laughs> I look forward to look to looking with you. Hmm. She gestures for you to come inside, and you follow her lead. All right, man. <gasps> Champagne. You can. Sm Those are not coffee cup glasses. Those are champagne glasses. You can feel the smell, the faint aroma, aroma of coffee. You were about to ask Seba if you could have some, but he's cowering in the corner. He looks like he wants to ask you something. Is ner nervously tapping his foot. What's wrong, nerd? Seb, is something bothering you? His ears perk up and he looks to the side shyly. I was just wondering what you are. I am... Oh. Uh, dang, I am an ambiguous. Let's go with the... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I was just being rude or anything. I just didn't want to call you something bad. Joan shakes her head. Oh! You assume my gender? <laughs> After all that? Okay. I guess I'm a female then. No, you did a good job, Seba. It's good to treat them with courtesy since they are doing us a huge favor after all. Uh, speaking of which... She coughs awkwardly. Okay, I need a quick save. She's trying to give me some fun fucking Pinomio. Oh, he called you here today for a certain problem. You give her a questioning look. She sighs. <sighs> Maybe it would just be faster if we brought him out. Don't you sigh at me. Who? The ghost. Joan walks quickly into the other room and returns with a caulking figure at her side, following her hand for guidance. Frankenst- what the hell? You feel the urge to scream, but your voice catches in your throat. You quickly turn away in disbelief. That's rude. The headless being waves awkwardly. Joan interjects. Okay, so this might be a bit of a lame case. But Hans here lost his head, and we want your help to get it back. Hmm. Uh, excuse me? Joan stares at you blankly. You are a paranormal investigator, are you not? I knew that was coming. An investigator of the paranormal, not an investigator for the paranormal. But, but we already wired the money to your PayPal. That's why I'm poor. I can't even afford the real PayPal. I got PayPal. I don't even know how to say it differently. <laughs> Seller shakes his hand. Gravely, P-Pal. Seeing his body walk around aimlessly, that just isn't right. He looks towards you pleadingly. He's a good person, I swear. He's a bit eccentric, but it's a good cause. You're considering your options. Are you seriously going to look for the head of a headless horseman? Of course I am. That's my job. Money's money, I guess. I'd rather work in whack Donald's. Let's go. You heave a sigh. Ah! That's how she sighs, so I'm gonna do it too. Well, you seem like a decent person, so I'll give it a shot. Fantastic. I sealed the deal on a handshake. Ah, nope, she's a witch. Don't shake her. Ah! <laughs> Germs! Ah! Her hand feels warm. Or maybe it's just because you're out in the rain. You give a slightly relieved smile. At least the rest of you are normal. What? Sibba gives you a confused look. Who said that we're normal? 
He gestures towards Joan. She's a witch, obviously. <laughs> well, at least he knows. <laughs> he turns back towards you. And I'm a hellhound? Boy, you barely hell mutt. You ain't no <laughs> hellhound. Shit. <laughs> well, to be more accurate, a fox hellhound hybrid. Oh, now you're getting fancy with it? No. No. You, you mutt. <laughs> but I thought this was established already. You take a step backwards. Oh my god, you're acting shocked. I thought you were, I don't know, cosplaying going to a dress up party? Most oblivious main character ever, my goodness. Joan looks at you with complete disdain. What kind of person does that in their own home? I don't know, somebody getting freaky. What do you think? <laughs> you laugh nervously. Okay, okay, it was a great meeting you all. One monster I can handle, but three. That's just not happening, unless... Y'all give me some more money. So <laughs> gives you puppy dog eyes. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Joan shrugs slightly. Be my guest. Did I actually leave? I didn't even have an option. You grab the handle, and Uh-oh. It's not opening. Got him! You see as a witch that hand I knew it! Ooh, I knew it! Made a spear contract, so... Oh! What'd I tell you? You can try all you like, but that door won't budge. Oh, budge when you catch... <laughs> these hands give you a little bit of thunder and lightning forcing me into a contract without knowing that's against the law I don't know illegal I knew it <laughs> oh it is in most states not in this one though what state are we in you know with the economy and all oh tell me more about the economy <laughs> yeah with the economy shut up <laughs> dog the economy has nothing to do with it though you take a deep breath and and deep breath out so if I find the head for this Hans guy I'm free of the contract right pretty much yeah oh you knew his ears perk up suddenly all right I almost forgot he barrels out of the room and returns almost immediately with a bag in hand Joan made this for you okay he hands you a lightweight black satchel. Oh man, she knew I was coming. Jesus. The witch avoids eye contact bashfully. The plot thickens. I thought I was a girl though. It wasn't like for you per se. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure these are my initials. FP! <laughs> she clears her throat. Let's just say that you might need to take some precautions around some of our residents here. You all ain't the only ones? And that I don't want you dying prematurely. Oh, quick save. <laughs> Give her a curious look. <laughs> or at all, for that matter. Okay, look, don't you have somewhere to be already? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh my god, that was creepy. Seven gives us a real laugh. <laughs> oh, Joan doesn't exactly wear her heart on her sleeve, but she really does have good attention, trust me. Joan makes an incredulous look, but he continues. Basically, this bag has some items that will probably come in handy when you're first getting to know people around here. If you want to know anything, just ask us, yeah? I'll think about it. You glance down at the bag and then back at Joan. Got it. Too easy. Where to start? How much time? By the way, how long do I have for the job? I don't know. Depends on how long you're willing to stay in the haunted mansion. I don't got an option, bro. He pauses. Well, ideally, you'll be done. You'll be done in by morning. After all, most of us are nocturnal here. You think to yourself that you might need to get some coffee after all. I wonder. Do I need to take any precautions around you two? No. Joan heaves a melodramatic sigh. Oh, I get it. It's because you think we're all monsters, huh? Only we're human too, you know. You just trapped me inside a house, took me hostage. You aren't sure if you were actually being offensive until she cracks a smile. My bad. My bad! Jesus, <laughs> I came to greet you with Siva because my work area is pretty close by. She pauses. Because, well, Siva's a good boy. Best boy. You don't even have to turn around and know that Siva is wagging his tail excitedly. Should I ask about this? Some furry stuff. 
not that I have anything against the fire community, it's just strange. <laughs> so, this is a bit rude.